It's around coffee time on Thursday morning, May 22nd, 2014. I'm not sure anybody's going to play ball anytime soon on that diamond in Hoey, Saskatchewan. A lovely old cruciform gambrel roofed house. And the remains of the Hoey Hotel, built in 1919 on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue, I guess. And burned down in the spring of 2004 and was salvaged. And there's the new hotel, not big on windows, but a hotel nonetheless, and for sale. On the other side of Main Street, the south side, Hoey sits on a glacial lake bed of fairly fertile soils, which began attracting Red River Métis settlers in the 1880s. Population was augmented by settlers from Breton who began arriving in 1895. Set up the colony of Dom Rene, just to the south of here. Names remembered are Joubert, Ote, Marsolier, Blondeau, Guillet. There is a little monument to early pioneer ingenuity. Senior Center used to be the RM office for many years until 1987. Post office was established here on June 15, 1915, by a shield of Godin. And now the RM has moved to the old post office. Just the super boxes are all that remain in the postal service. Hoey was named after Captain James Hoey, who settled in the area in 1885, likely as a rancher. He was a territorial MLA for Kinistino from 1888 till 1891, and was the Justice of the Peace at St. Louis, just up the road. The last official census was conducted in Hoey in 2006, and the population of not the 46. There's a coot doing the coot thing. Looking at South down Railway Avenue, I guess, and Main Street. Never incorporated as a village, was organized as a hamlet in 1952, a ward of the rural municipality of St. Louis, 431 which itself was organized in 1913. This looks like the curling rink. Maybe not. And there's the rail line, now owned by Wheatland Railway Company, and formerly owned by Canadian National. It was built through here by the Grand Trunk Pacific Railway in 1914, who in that year dropped off a freight passenger shelter at mile 82.5 from Young on what is now the Canadian National Main Line. It was removed in 1922, two years after a new design A1 station was built. This was demolished in 1982. Since 1983, the rail line extends no farther northward. And the last elevator standing in Hoi was built by the Saskatchewan Wheat Wheel in 1984-85. It was called their St. Louis Hoi Elevator in private hands since 2001. I imagine Atlas Elevator built closer to the town site in 1915, followed by Farmer's Hoi Elevator Company in 1918. Saskatchewan Co-op Elevator in 1922 and Central Grain in 1923, all eventually bought up and closed by the Saskatchewan Meat Pool, looking south down Highway 2 towards Wacaw, maybe. Oh, 30 k away. I'll take a moment here to remember William Ross Berry, who passed away on October the 5th, 2015. Bill Berry celebrated Saskatchewan place names and its people and many books that he wrote both during his working life as an educator and after. He 
his contributions to the preservation and popularization of local Saskatchewan history was enormous. I, like many others, will continue to rely on his work. Mr. Berry, thank you. Holy Saskatchewan.